Good morning. I'm Dr. Robert. And this morning on Five-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert, my topic is disturbance of vata. What it is, how to address it, and why we need to address it. First, let me remind everyone that vata is not at all different from prana. Prana is the life force the thing that in animates us, the thing that gives us the vitality that we need to function in the world. The difference between prana and vata is that prana moves deeply, slowly, regularly, evenly, and productively in the organism, and vata is eccentric, it's off-center, it moves in a stop-and-start kind of fashion like when you're in traffic on the highway, and it discourages harmony in the organism. The chief and fundamental reason why we have an epidemic of vata aggravation in the world is because people live in cities and towns. The majority of people on earth are urban now. When you live in an, an environment where you're surrounded by other living things than humans, things that are not neurotic, then automatically that environment will encourage the prana in your body to circulate properly. When you're surrounded by other humans who are neurotic, their neuroses are going to encourage you to be out of balance also. So it's very important that you pay attention to how to keep your own prana circulating as best as possible. For this purpose, we will uh, consult Vag Bhattacharya, Mr. Language Person, uh, the excellent Ayurvedic author, and in his discussion on uh, the upakrama, the method of dealing with the various doshas, when he talks about vata, he says vatasya upakramaha sneha sveda samshodhanam mridu. So the first uh, word in a group of words <clears throat> in Sanskrit is usually the most important, and that is sneha. So sneha means two things. Sneha, first of all, means oil. So oiling your body regularly, doing a little bit of abhyanga every day, putting oil in your nose, a little oil in the ears, occasional oil in the eye, oiling the hairy parts of the body, consuming appropriate amounts of oil internally, appropriate meaning what you can digest, all of these things will assist in keeping vata under control because the qualities of oil, the gunas of oil, and of fat, other types of fat, including ghee and what have you, those gunas are opposite than the gunas from the uh, gunas of vata. Oil is heavy, vata is light, oil is calm, vata is not calm, oil it moves slowly, vata moves quickly, oil is warming, vata is uh, activated by all kinds of changes, but especially by cold, which causes constriction and discourages circulation. So, so oil and ghee and other fats like that, very important for controlling vata, most important. Sneha also means affection, sincere, maternal-like affection uh, in particular. So that means uh, being affectionate with and being open to receiving affection from uh, the important people in your family, humans, animals, trees, plants, whatever the, those family members may be, but being emotionally connect, connected to your family members is very important, and having a direct and positive and emotional connection to the supreme reality is also very essential. That's also a part of this sneha. Um, <clears throat> sveda means making sure that your organism is warm enough. Samshodhana means to uh, actively purify the body, but that doesn't mean do a bunch of intensive uh, panchakarma or other purification all the time. That means making sure that you don't overburden your body with taking in too many sensory impressions, taking in too much from your screen, taking in too much food take in a little bit at a time, digest it properly, then take in a little bit more. Mridu means um, soft and gentle. 
having as much gentleness and softness as possible in your life, in your thoughts, in your speech, that will all encourage Vata to become calmer. A healthy daily routine keeps Vata under control. Doing things slowly and gradually helps keep Vata under control. And in general, keeping calm, remaining calm as far as possible, especially in the face of all the different things that will attempt to aggravate you in the world, this in itself will encourage very much to keep Vata calm. This is Dr. Robert encouraging you to have a very calm and Vata relaxing day.